Hey finders and welcome back to a baddie good time here on Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this bat lip. If you are new here, welcome. This is a fun one and I'm so glad you're joining me. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell button. This way you get notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I freaking love Halloween and I'm also like that meme girl because I freaking love bats and y'all know I love a good lip and this is a good lip. So this really encompasses all of the happy things in my life, all of my favorites, Halloween, bats, and lips. Sign me up. This is really fun. I do need to give credit where credit is due. I found this lip while shopping around on Pinterest. I often go to Pinterest to find inspiration. This was uploaded to Pinterest um, and it was pulled from Instagram. The Instagram handle is Riri Phillips. So Riri Phillips, thank you for this awesome bat lip that inspired me today. Hers is definitely a little bit better than mine, a little bit more sleeker, but we worked with what we got. I don't have very big lips, so I couldn't keep it to the lips only. As always, makeup, you gotta work with what you got, you gotta make it your own, and you gotta make it work for you. So that is exactly what we're doing today. I don't wanna babble too much, let's go ahead and let's hop into it. But I really wanna know, what are you guys being for Halloween? What are you dressing up as? And if you go ahead and watch this video and recreate this look, be sure to tag me, tag my Instagram handle. I will put it on the screen as well as down below where you can find all the other information you may need about me, about my channel, about this video will be down there. So without further ado, let's stop battling. No, was that too far? And let's get on to my bat Halloween lip inspired makeup look. I don't want the lips to look too, too white. So I'm gonna use my foundation that I'm wearing on my face, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. I'm taking some from the pan and I'm gonna stamp out my lips. I went ahead, I exfoliated my lips. I used a Wet n Wild lip scrub. I'm gonna go into this Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation by JCat Beauty. This is a tinted powder and I'm gonna set that. I will link this down below. This is a five brush lip kit and we're gonna be using some of these handy shapes to create the look of the bat. Sephora liquid lipstick. It's just a black liquid lipstick. Where did it go? I just had it. Or you can put it on the back of your hand. It really doesn't matter. Anywhere where we can really maneuver and work out that black. So I'm taking this guy, this brush, because it looks like the bat head. This is like a Cupid's bow brush. If you don't know what the Cupid's bow is, it's this M on your lips, okay? I'm gonna dip it in to the batter and then I'm gonna move sections and just tap off any of the excess, okay? Now I'm gonna center this. I'm so nervous, I'm literally sweating. I'm gonna center this in the middle of my lips. I'm gonna bring you guys in even further and I'm gonna stamp him in the middle. Okay, it's just a rough outline. It's not a big deal. It doesn't need to look perfect. I'm gonna take a really skinny brush like this. I'm gonna tap into that lip liner and I'm gonna start with the wing. And the wing in a bat, it's curved, it's rounded. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Pencil. It's just a really skinny black eyeliner. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trace out this wing along my lip. This is also going to act as a barrier for the liquid lipstick so it doesn't run off of the lips. And I'm extending that wing past my lip. Same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna kinda like swoop it under. Go ahead and carve out my cupid's bow a little bit. And I'm exaggerating it, exaggerating it ever so slightly because that's where the bat legs are gonna be. So do you see where we're going with this? I 
It's okay. It's okay. Am I t I'm telling that to myself though. Mm. I think that one's a little too high. It's okay. I'm kind of just continuing the doodle. I have an idea. I think we're going to fill it in. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back in with the angled brush, but I'm going to take some of this. Honestly, the trick is going to be in the detailing. I'm putting some more of that liquid lipstick on my plate. I'm taking that skinny brush and we're going to fill in the black. We're going to fill in the lines first. And as you run out of product from filling the inside, that's when you want to migrate to the, the outer corners. But it's going to be all about detailing. See how I rounded that and made it pointier? And now I'm making his ears a little pointier. Let's move on to this side because I'm happy with this side. Sorry, I'm, am I cutting this off all the time? I really hope not. Again, filling in first. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, we're gonna work with this. Working with whatever in there. You know, I'm just like not happy with this side. I'm gonna take a little bit of my makeup remover wipe. I'm just gonna take this all off. Honestly, I'm taking this whole side off. I'm not happy with him. I can do better than this. I've done better than this. So I'm just going in with what's ever left on this brush. I'm just sketching this out. Which side looks better? Like, does this side look better? Hmm, I think so, yeah. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I think I like this side better. It looks more like a wing. Isn't that funny how that happens? It's not funny, because I'm destroying my face. Um, but... It's okay. I'm going to take what's ever left on that brush and just extend the legs. I'm going to draw the little claws. I'm going to take a sponge and just pat the outermost corners. A translucent setting powder. I'm gonna take the Hourglass Veil because it's really not pigmented. I'm gonna take that on a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna press it into the brush using the palm of my hand. And I'm going to pat this very lightly all over Batty. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to fill him in one last time. Powdering him and then adding some more is really going to ensure that he stays on. And if you're going to a Halloween party and you're going to be drinking and you're going to wear this bat -ness, you need to have that protection. So I'm just filling this in. And I'm not going... To the corners again. I'm 
on just filling in as much as I can without worrying about the edges too much. Collab Line and Shine in the shade Gold Mine. So I'm just gonna use this gold liquid liner to create the little bat eyes, just like that. I'm gonna let that dry. Oh mm, my God, this is so cool. I love how this came out. The eyes just like get me. They get me so good. I love this. Wow, I love, that is fucking cool. All right guys, and this is the finished lip look. Let's take a good look before I zoom you guys out. That bat is just like so sleek and mine, it's just like a little bit more aggressive, but you know what? I'm an Aries and aggressive I am. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know. Do you like this? What do you think about this? Can you think of maybe a better way I could do something, how I could tweak it? Let me know anything you guys wanna talk about down below in the comment section. And also if you recreate this look, please be sure to let me know. I wanna see how you guys do this bat inspired look. I had a bat a good time. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.